Piano vocal mic. No, I'm John Tavolos. Speaking of that, that's Brian Colasco. Yeah. 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 David Goodwin on the bass. Yeah. Brian Schwartz on the guitar. I don't so nice. This fake Vinnie Colley. One, two. One, two. Did I say guitar on the bass? Shuffle. That's not guitar. Shuffle, one, two. Tears are taken on the saxophone. On the bass. I'm Morgan Green. I'm Shlomo Hertz. I'm Morgan Green. That's my name. I've learned that, well, I've learned about money manners. Uh, I mean, it, it really does. It matters. BWP, Channel 63. How are you, Duchesne, with you round till 6 on KDWB? It's 18, chilly Twin City degrees. And here's something to think about when you're buying a diamond ring, talking about money. I mean, you're shelling out your good hard-earned loot, right? Right. Now, if you've got any sense at all, you don't have to be bribed to buy a good diamond. Fellas, remember, your sweetheart isn't interested in how many lawnmowers and free bowling balls and what have you that you got with her diamond. She's most interested in the quality and beauty of the ring. She wants to be sure it's something she can be proud to wear and show her family and friends. That's why it's so important to buy a diamond you know from a jeweler you can trust. And nothing fits this qualification like the registered perfect keepsake diamonds you'll find only in...